a series of bank holdups across Lebanon in just a few hours. Depositors armed and demanding their money. They've been locked out of their accounts since the financial crisis began in late 2019. In most cases, they were able to get some of their funds. Every time I go to the bank, I'm humiliated. They give me a little amount of my money, as if I'm a beggar. I have money, but I live like a poor man. We can't buy medicine. The raids on Friday followed two on Wednesday. Activists are promising more to come. We have rights, and this is a revolution by depositors. We'll support any depositor who wants to claim his right. Banks won't be able to work until our trapped savings are released. Politicians, many of them bankers, have failed to address the financial collapse. Instead, banks announced a three-day closure next week over mounting security concerns. Till now, they didn't found a committee to solve this situation. The banks, uh, the banks are saying that they will close three days. I am telling them that at the fourth day when they will open, they will face hundreds of depositors at the branches. So far, incidents have ended peacefully with those involved only briefly detained. There's chaos across the Lebanese capital and fears the situation will only get worse if politicians fail to improve living conditions. The economy began to collapse three years ago, and many say they can no longer cope. The currency has collapsed. Unemployment is rising. State services are almost non-existent. The country is heading to hell. We are so tired. I had to leave my house because there is no electricity and water. I have no money. Everyone's asking for dollars, but I don't have dollars. Have mercy on us. There is little holding the country together, and Lebanon's stability is at risk. Zenokhadr Al Jazeera, Beirut.